OK, Jake, here's a quick overview of the 1026 from MFJ, the noise cancelling device. Uh, and um, this device is inserted uh, into the receive chain of the radio. Luckily, I've got an in and out on the back of the radio for that. So it's never in the transmit chain. So there's some of this junk over here about a transmit receive change over relays is completely redundant because this device never sees the transmitted signal. So what have we got? On the right hand side, we've got the main station antenna input. So the big aerial outside comes straight into this box and on into the radio. When the device is not switched on, it goes straight through. On the left-hand side here, we've got what's called the auxiliary antenna input. That's the noise antenna. And that's a low-slung dipole outside, and I've deliberately laced it around the place so it's near to the sources of man-made noise, my neighbours' TVs and such things. And then in the middle is a phase control, which allows you to adjust the phase between the two antennas. And the whole purpose of this exercise is to get the gain on the noise of the two antennas as equal as you can so that you can then start phasing it out. There's a phase button, by the way, that uh, changes between 0 to 180 and 180 to 360 degrees. Um, there's a high-low frequency here, but we're on top band today, so it remains on low. And there's a preamp for the noise antenna, because the noise antenna, being low and small, needs a bit of oomph to start matching the main station antenna. So let's have a look at the radio. Here we are on, uh, well, 1974, for what it's worth. You can see the sort of S9 reading on noise. Let's listen to it. I'd have quite a lot of trouble hearing a weak mobile through there. So what we're now going to do is to switch on the MFJ, but I've got the gain on both antennas down. So let's have a listen. When I switch it in, nothing any longer going to the radio. Now, because the auxiliary antenna is not likely to have quite so much gain, I'm going to turn it all the way up and look at the reading on the meter. What shall we say? S7.5. Um, turned it down again. Now I'm going to turn up the main station antenna to match it. Well, yeah, sort of around there. As you can see, haven't got full gain in, but it doesn't really matter because the radio's got so much gain anyway. It doesn't really matter if you haven't got the full benefit of your main receiving antenna. You can make it up on your millions of knobs on your radios. Now, I'm going to turn up the noise antenna to full again. These two are now adding. You can see that. What I'm going to do now is adjust the phase control and see if I can get some sort of null. So you'll just have to take my word for it. I'm turning it gently up. Let's have a look at the meter and listen to the noise. Well, I got to some sort of null there, so I'm just going back to find that again. Now, that's not a bad reduction due to cancellation already, but what I'm now going to do is just tweak the main antenna gain a little bit to see whether I've really matched up the gain of the two antennas that are phasing, and I might even have another little go at the phase control. So you can tweak, tweak this for hours, but if I just have one little fiddle... A little bit of gain adjustment... And here's a bit of phase. Yeah, you can go backwards and forwards for hours and hours and hours, but I don't know whether you caught that. We're now actually hearing a conversation that's taking place on this frequency. Or thereabouts. We certainly weren't hearing that before. Um, so let's just switch the device in and out so you get an idea. Here is it in. And now we're going to switch it out. Switched in, switched out. I think that's a fairly convincing demonstration of how much noise we're actually cancelling at the moment with this device. It needs a very clean 12 volt power supply. If you don't have a clean supply, if you try to run it off some sort of charger or something or a, a small device that hasn't got a smooth supply, it'll just add noise into the system. Um, OK, right, so that I'm going to stop this video for a second and see whether I can find a weak station and switch in and out to give you a demonstration of the improvement that's possible. OK, Jake, I've just tried to tune in on that geezer. He's pretty weak.
I don't know how well that's coming across uh, his conversation. I can just make him out through the noise. But if I take the device out... Not a hope in hell. I'll just try switching it in and out a couple of times. Well, uh, I've slowed the AGC right up now, but I think you can tell that there's a very good fighting chance of working that guy with the device in and absolutely no chance at all with the device out. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Cheers.